Good morning. It's six. It's six thirty-six a.m. and I'm awake. I literally woke up at like five forty-five. Couldn't go back to sleep, so I'm awake now. My fucking body hurts so bad. I'm literally so sore. It's not even funny. Let me explain to you what happened. Also, yesterday, me and my family went to one of those like tree treat. It's too early. We went to one of those tree trek things where you're like climbing things. It's an obstacle course. There's zip lines. You're in the air. You're in the trees. And it was very fun. I had a great time. But that last course got me, bitch. But let me kind of explain why. Because I was a little bit thrown off before the last course. It was great. I was having a great time. I was speed running that shit. Okay. We get to this portion. My mom didn't do it because she's scared of heights. But it was me, my stepdad, my brother, and his girlfriend. We went for my brother's birthday. I don't know if I specified that. My stepdad was right behind me. And we got to this portion that said it's time to race. So I waited for him. We both got set up and started going. Started racing. I was... I was beating him, okay. Oh, first let me say, one of the guides was a little bit cute. Just a little bit cute, okay? What was I just saying? Oh, we get to the racing portion. It's a part where you have to like pull this rope. You're using a rope to pull another rope that you have to swing on. And then you jump on the rope and swing down and land on this giant net and you have to climb up to the platform and get on the platform. I'm like fucking rushing because it's a race. I'm pulling the rope to me. I hop on the fucking rope. I go. The rope that you... <laughs> They literally specify this in the demo too, like don't let this rope wrap around you because you'll get stuck. The rope that I used to pull the other rope got fucking wrapped around me and I get stuck in the middle of the zip line or whatever it is, the fucking cord. I literally was so fucking embarrassed. They had to come like help me, including the guy that I thought was a little bit cute. So I was deeply embarrassed. Still am deeply embarrassed. We'll be thinking about that for the rest of my life. I literally had to like try, like in the air as I'm hanging, I had to try to unwrap this cord from around me so I could go. Oh my, I don't want to think about it because it was so fucking embarrassing. Anyway, they helped me and then I go and go on the net and I have to climb up half the fucking net because I wasn't high enough at that point to not have to climb the fucking net. This lighting is crazy. We're gonna stick with it. Get to the net, I climb up. I couldn't explain my embarrassment cause like what the fuck, this man just literally had to come save me. After he told me not to, I started to like finish the course that we're on and I realized my finger is bleeding. It's not bleeding anymore. It was just like my nail was, I don't know how it was bleeding, but it was bleeding. Blood dripping. I look down at this finger. Half a chunk of my skin is missing right here. Like you can literally see like the inside of my fucking finger. I think it happened when I was on the rope and the rope got wrapped around me and I had like fall down a little. I think I gripped the rope a little too hard. Missing a chunk of my finger. Just some skin. Just some skin's missing. And after that, I'm a little shaken up because first of all, I'm, I'm embarrassed. Second of all, I'm seeing that I'm bleeding. I'm seeing my finger and then it starts to hurt after that because once I realize for some reason it starts to fucking hurt and like there's sweat getting in it and I'm like, okay, I'm shaken up. I'm starting to shake a little bit. It's not even bad. Like the pain's not bad. I'm just like, that threw me off. Everything that just happened threw me off. I finished the thing. It was really fun. That course was really fun, but I was just like, shaking up okay the last course is the hardest that bitch was high up it really wasn't that bad but i was already just like not about it anymore literally after the first two obstacles i was like okay okay get me now i'm done i don't do it anymore when's the end i was also extremely tired at that point because i haven't done physical activity in a while and on top of that i wore a fucking sweater sweatshirt because it was freezing in the morning it still was pretty cold but doing all that physical activity i was starting to sweat on top of panicking a little because i was like okay i kind of Get down, cut the cameras, cut the cameras. Just get through the last few, you don't have any left. We'll just, you could do it. I did it. It was definitely just like a lot, just cause I was so fucking tired. I was, I just wanted water, but it was fun. Cause there was one where it was like these logs that were hanging, but they were like this and it was so fucking wobbly. If you hold the strings on the logs, it's not as wobbly, but the strings were so far apart that like you couldn't hold the strings the whole time. You had to hold the rope, the zip line thing above you. So when you were holding that, it was fucking wobbly as fuck. And I had to use every muscle in my body to stay straight. My abs hurt really bad. That's the main pain, I think. Yesterday I got home and I just laid in bed because I was so dead. Then I went to sleep at like 3 p.m. and woke up at like 9. 8 or 9 and then I went to sleep again at like 11.30 and now I'm awake. So I got plenty of sleep, I'm feeling better, I'm feeling well rested, my body still fucking hurts but maybe this means I should work out a little because we're already, we're already at the starting point, you know? Like I'm already feeling the soreness, the pain so might as well just start fucking going because uh, like I've been stagnant and that really showed in that 
They really, they really showed in that. They did. My whole, like literally my arms, my body just feels heavy, tired. But my mind's not tired anymore, so I can't sleep anymore. Also, this blanket, I was sitting in my car for so long and I used it when I went to my parents' house for the hurricane and this shit is so fucking soft. Look how cute it is, first of all. Like, huh? But this shit is so soft and it's massive. It's not like a regular size blanket, it's fucking massive. Like, it's like a king size blanket. It goes on for miles. I literally slept with just this because it's, I feel like I'm in a cloud. I feel like I'm being reborn back in the womb a little. It just is soft. Are you joking? There's a mushroom, there's a pumpkin, there's an acorn, there's a sunflower, there's leaves. There's everything you could ever want to put in a fall blanket. Taylor Swift is happening this weekend. It happened, the first night happened last night in Miami. And I'm not there. And that does hurt a little. I was trying to get tickets all weekend. But, you know, it is what it is. I did ask my friend to get me merch though, so hopefully he got me merch. And I'm really excited about that because I want her merch and I want Gracie's merch. I have been spending a little bit of money because I'm sad. I'll say that's the reason. I bought Gracie's deluxe vinyl and I just bought the Noah Khan vinyl because my record store near me is having a sale, so I did just buy the vinyl. And I did go to Bath and Body Works two days ago and I did get two candles. So today, I just want to go do some stuff. I don't really know. I just want to go have fun. I also need to go pick up the vinyl that I just bought because I ordered it online for in-store pickup. And I really want to go to Old Navy because there's a st one store near me that has the reissue they did, like the 1994 reissue. Some of that stuff is really cute. And I heard that they have a pair of jeans, a pair of like carpenter or cargo jeans that are really good so i want to go try them on i was going to order them online because they were on sale but i was like i don't i don't want to do it without trying them on because they're men's and i need to know i don't know what's gonna fit me so i'm just gonna try them on if they have them and see if i like them and if they if i do i'm gonna get them and i'm gonna have another pair of jeans but hopefully they're good because i would greatly appreciate um another pair of jeans it is saturday though going out on Saturdays is not my favorite because everybody's fucking going. Everybody and their fucking mother is out at those stores. And it's just like, all right, let's just go ahead and calm down a little bit. I know everybody has off work, but damn. I'm so hungry right now. I didn't really, did I eat dinner? Oh yeah, I did. I forgot because it was like, after waking up from my long ass nap. And then I went right to sleep after. There's an apple on here too. Wow, we just have everything. I'm, what do I eat? Do I eat oatmeal? Oh, I can make pancakes. That actually sounds so good right now. I kind of do want pancakes again. That's like, they really just sound so delicious. Some nice warm pancakes with blueberry compote. Yeah, I'm gonna eat that. I'm gonna eat that up. I'm trying desperately to get back into reading. So I think I'm gonna listen to an audiobook today. And I think it's gonna be Daydream by Hannah Grace. I kinda don't wanna cook right now. I kinda wanna lay in bed for a little bit and then cook. No, you see me standing here. Yeah. Wait, this is so cute. I love when they change this cause it's like a little surprise when I turn my TV on. Tell me when I just got a fucking ad on YouTube. An Old Navy ad that said, stop by an Old Navy store today. Now I've never seen that ad before and that's weird because I just said I was going to Old Navy. So it's a sign or someone's listening. Hmm. <laughs> This is really fucking weird because the old navy thing just happened right i'm watching a youtube video the youtube video that the ad was for and why is she talking about daydream and then she goes someone told me the audiobook is really really good so i'm gonna listen to that and i just talked about listening to that like this is just weird that is happening literally two things i said were brought up anyways is it a sign is it a coincidence is it a am i on the right path what's going on Sleep. I thought it was gonna be like 15 minutes because I had my alarm set, start getting ready. I was like, I almost didn't get up, but my stomach hurts really bad. I was gonna straighten my hair, but I think I'm gonna dye it tonight, so I'm just gonna leave it like this. It's a little crazy. But... Also, I took my band aid off and sorry, wound, trigger warning, wound, not bad. It's just like a little bit. Finger. Missing a chunk of skin. I took my band aid off and it was like a little bit, a little bit gross. I'm gonna put some brush on it. Oh, it's gonna hurt so bad. Oh! <sighs> 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 
Fucking A, dude. Oh my god, holy fuck. Oh, it's really burning. I'm so nauseous. I'm gonna put my hair up. I wanted to be there right when they open, but that's not gonna happen now because it's literally 9 30. They open at 10. It's like 30 minutes wait, and I gotta walk up for real quick. So I'm gonna do that, and we're gonna go to Old Navy. Oh, uh, here at the outlets it's not busy at all there are literally like barely any cars where's everybody at it's saturday probably sleeping in well navy's literally right here i'm gonna go there and then i might walk around a little bit i haven't decided yet but i probably will let's go I just hit the fucking jackpot. Almost everything I tried on, minus one tank top, was amazing. The green cardigan I tried on, I really liked a lot and I almost got, but it wasn't on sale and it was $40, which would have been more expensive than anything I got. So I was like, uh, I think I'll pass. But it was really cute and I really liked it and I would have bought it if it was 50% off like the rest of this. I got three items. I'll show you when I get home. I didn't expect them to be as good as they were. It's almost the perfect fucking jean. That is, I think those are now my new favorite jeans. Like they're so comfortable and soft and look so good. I'm very excited to wear them. Literally the only thing I had about them was like they were a little bit wide which isn't bad but i just wish they were like a half inch longer i don't even know if like i think they kind of are great like they're kind of amazing how they are they had i thought they were gonna have a section for their reissue which is all the stuff i got and they were like scattered throughout which is fine because i was just browsing when i looked online they did not have either of these jeans i got in women's but they had them here which is good but i'm really fucking happy with everything i got and i'm excited and i spent eighty dollars eighty dollars and i got two pairs of jeans and a fucking sweater thing they they ate that one up i am so hungry right now and i don't know what to eat i need to go to sephora because i need to return this chapstick pause let me make sure i still can Actually. When did I buy this? 30 day return policy. Oh, October 4th. So I'm good I'm returning this because I don't really like it. Glossy bomb.com in mint. Mintbomb.com. So why is it $17? I I wouldn't know. I'm gonna go to the Sephora that's over here. This lighting is crazy. The sun is sunning. Wait, I think it's in the mall though. I do not want to go into the mall right now. I think I might go to the one kind of close to me. But it's like a, its own building. Literally so hungry. I don't know what to eat. I need to eat something that's not going to hurt my stomach. I was like, hey, I should go to Kava. Because there's a Kava over here. My stomach literally hurts so bad. Like, I'm not kidding. I woke up from my nap. Was very tired. So I was trying to go back to sleep. And literally almost shit myself. So I had to run to the fucking toilet. And my stomach is hurting so bad i don't know what why what happened is it from the the strenuous physical activity i did yesterday or is it something i ate i don't know i'm literally so fucking excited about everything i bought i think i need like soup i wish there was like a good smoothie place around here they don't really have good smoothie places it's just all the sword chain places a real smoothie place you know what i mean hold on i'm gonna do a target drive up order right now so then when i get home i can go to the target by my house and pick it up and then i'll head to some Every time I like move or breathe, my abs are so sore. They're so hurting so bad. Like they literally hurt so fucking bad. I need to get chicken nuggets. $4.99, they're on sale. I need some kind of like reusable water bottle because I drink so much water and I don't really like Stanley's. Like, I have, I think two and I just, I don't know. I just, I'm not really with it anymore. I think, like the whole straw thing, like it being open. And I also just want to have it like a bottle that I can just hold or put in my bag and it not spill. So I don't know what to get. I don't know what's a good one. I was thinking Awala. It has a cap. It's leak proof, but I just don't know. And I also don't know what color to get. I need water at all times or I feel like I am missing something and I'm, I feel like I get anxiety. I get like a little stressed and I get a little bit like, oh my gosh, like survival mode. Like I need to fucking find water. I don't know why. <laughs> Are they good? Is it worth it? Got my money back. I don't know what's wrong with me. My body is literally shaking right now. I got soup from Wawa. Chicken noodle with a 
with bread and butter. And I'm about to devour all of it. I also got a water, a poppy. This is not a poppy, oh my God. It's an Olipop, root beer, and gummy. I'm gonna eat this and watch something. Gosh, that hoodie is so crunchy, but I love it because it's a guitar. I just took the fattest nap with the craziest dreams, and I literally feel insane. It's literally 8 p.m. Ouch. Wound hurts. I'm not doing well right now. I ate my soup. I ate some gummies. I had my little soda, which I don't know if I should have. I don't know if that helped or made my stomach worse. My stomach still hurts really bad. But I'm not on the toilet, so that's good. Just in case you were wondering. I'm gonna show you everything that I've gotten over the past few weeks. I'll show you what I got from Old Navy. But first, I went thrifting a few weeks ago. I got this shirt. It's just a button up, gray striped shirt. Thought it was cute. I think that this could be styled really nice. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. I just love a little button up sometimes. I tried this on yesterday and I think this is one of my greatest purchases in a while because this shit is like what I have been looking for, okay? I got this denim jacket. Got this 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 collar. Is this corduroy? Wait, no, it's corduroy. I don't know. Brown collar. It's just a big dark denim jacket. Not really even giving it justice right now at all. It's from Gap and I just like like, I can't even explain to you. I put this on my body. Every time I've ever looked for a denim jacket in my life, this is what I've wanted. And it just, like, it fits so well. It's oversized. I love oversized anything. And it's like, it's like kind of stretchy. And it's just like good quality. So comfortable. It's literally like basically the perfect denim jacket for me. I literally love it. And the way that the sleeves are like long and so they roll up, it just is literally so cute. It was $15. I didn't even know it fit until yesterday. I got this like three, four weeks ago. My stomach hurts so bad. I literally have to go to the orchid store tomorrow. <laughs> To pick up my vinyl that I ordered because they just said it's ready. They said it was ready during my nap. Nothing body works. Okay, I did make an impulsive purchase. The Christmas stuff is here and the fall stuff is leaving and they had a sale and I was like, I need to get at least one fall candle this year. So I got a fall candle and I got the Christmas one. It smells so good. It's hot cocoa and cream. Oh my gosh. It literally smells so fucking good and the packaging is so cute. I love a sweet scent. <laughs> really love a sweet scent one thing about me i I, don't, I love a sweet sweet food sweet scent anything next one i got i'm struggling marshmallow fireside i already have one somewhere back there that's like maybe half full and i have one oh i literally have one in front of me too so i have another one for future use but it's leaving so i need to stock up i guess i wanted to get my favorite candle the pumpkin pecan waffles i have two of them one of them's like completely burnt out i love that candle scent it smells so good they literally had one left and it smelled weird like it's not like something was wrong with it either they changed the formula or something was just off about it so i didn't get that on to the big one just a little quick little run through i got this what is this called sweater sweatshirt sweater zip up quarter zip it's fuzzy it's so so soft in this like maroon color i'm obsessed with this it has a pocket two pockets or one i don't know i got in a large so it's oversized a little oversized and i really love it deeply in my soul everything that i got at old navy 10 out of fucking 10 y'all did that shit i did i never thought i would say that i didn't know i would ever say that but here we are all this was 50 percent off by the way i got these 90s baggy carpenter jeans in this dark shade they're like low-waisted they got the little thing where's the net oh it's on this side the little loop for your tools in the back this little that is so cute it's just a little uh it says old navy blue jeans i just think that's like a cute little thing so yeah i got these they're really soft and comfortable 30 dollars for those and i got the same ones in the light wash 10 out of 10. I am very fucking excited about all of this. I still have to go pick up my Target order, even though it's 8 30. I hope they still let me. But they're open till 11, so I'm gonna go pick that up right now. And then I got something to make for dinner. I just don't know if it's gonna like upset my stomach. It's like a, I had it before. It's just a cauliflower chicken rice thing. Don't think it'll hurt my stomach. I'm just worried if, I don't remember if it was spicy or not. Okay, let's go to Target, I guess. No, like, we should go to Target. Like, we gotta go to Target. I've been listening to Daydream by Hannah Grace, and I am literally on chapter three, but it's cute so far. Wow. 
why did I not break it up in the bag? Why did I just put a big fucking frozen lump in the pan? Guys, I've been waiting for this video for so long and I'm ready. I will be enjoying my meal with this. My oh God, this man. It's 44 minutes long. They are feeding us. That's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Enjoyed? Hope you enjoyed. Bye.